This is a 155cc four-stroke water-cooled engine. The engine was scratch-built except for the flywheel, generator, carburetor, valves, valve springs, and guides. It has a custom design and was cut out of billet, plate, and rod on a milling machine and lathe. The engine has a steel crankshaft, camshaft, gears, and push rods. The cylinder sleeve and piston rings are made from cast iron and brass was used for some bushings and valve seats. Otherwise, the engine is all aluminum. What really sets this engine apart from any other scratch build engine is that the majority of aluminum parts are made from beer cans. That's right, the cylinder, piston, head, intake plenum, rocker tower, cam housing, front crankshaft housing, water pump and impeller, radiators, water manifolds, and countless brackets, spacers, and bushings are made from smelted beer cans. The cans were crushed, smelted in a pottery kiln, and poured into ingots. The pottery kiln can't hold enough aluminum to create an ingot big enough for this engine block. So, a 5 inch by 5 inch block of 6120 aluminum was bored out on the mill. Numerous holes were drilled and tapped for the cylinder base and front housing. A window was milled in the side of the block for splash oil to get to the camshaft and lifters. The crankshaft was turned on the lathe from a 4 inch diameter chunk of 4140 steel. That's likely harder than the crankshaft in your car. Two 32 gallon trash bins were filled with the chips off the 4 inch blank along with a few of the tool steel cutters being used to whittle it down to size. The crankshaft was balanced by cutting away 100% of the rotating mass and 50% of the reciprocating mass of the pins, rod, and piston that connect to it. Here you can see the crankshaft freely rotating with a male scale used to determine the difference between the mass to remove and the temporary counterweight. The crankshaft is suspended in the block in beer can aluminum front housing by ball bearings, with a 2 inch gear made from 1045 hot rolled steel between them. This gear turns the camshaft. The camshaft is made from oil hardened tool steel. A blank was turned on the lathe and the lobes were cut on the milling machine. A roller cam grind was extrapolated into a milling profile and then a milling bit was swiped across the cam blank at the extrapolated depth on one degree increments. A file removed the microscopic ridges. The cam is suspended by ball bearings in a beer can aluminum housing. Roller lifters ride the cam lobes on 3 8 inch ball bearings. At the front of the engine, a 4 inch gear is turned by the 2 inch crankshaft gear. At the rear, the camshaft turns a rotor with an embedded magnet. This magnet triggers a Hall effect sensor from Pertronix, which breaks the contact with the coil, signaling the spark plug to fire. The cylinder is made from beer can aluminum with a cast iron sleeve. Water flows from the bottom of the cylinder up to the head through four passages. The piston is also made from beer can aluminum and has two cast iron compression rings and an oil control ring. The piston is lubricated by splash oil from the crankshaft. It is connected to the crankshaft by an aluminum rod and a half inch shoulder bolt. Relief ports were cut into the cylinder walls to ensure clearance between the rod and the cylinder. Deconflicting bolt holes, water passages, intake and exhaust ports make the head the most intricate piece on the entire engine. 
Water jackets cut around the combustion chamber and bolt holes, collect the water from the four passages in the cylinder, and exit around the exhaust port to draw heat from the hottest part of the engine. The valves, valve springs, and guides are from a Honda 50. The guides were pressed into the head and honed. The valve seats were cut from Moldstar, a hard brass alloy, and pressed into the head. The rocker arms contact the valves with 3 8 inch ball bearings. The rocker arms have a 1.2 to 1 ratio through the pivots supported by needle bearings and another 3 8 inch ball bearing to contact the push rods. The push rods are made from 3 16th drill rod, threaded on the rocker end for lash adjustment, and cupped on the lifter end to accept a ball bearing centered in the roller lifter. Water flows from the head to a mixing chamber and then to two radiators made from beer can aluminum. A 6 inch fan and a water pump are driven off the crankshaft. The water pump and impeller are made from beer can aluminum and pump water to a four port manifold to feed the base of the cylinder. This beautiful aluminum tank holds the fuel for this engine. The 4-inch tube has machine thread end caps, a filler neck welded onto it, and a baffled cap. Gasoline is gravity fed from a pet cock in the fuel tank to an electric fuel pump. This pumps fuel to the carburetor bowl, which is normally gravity fed. All of the engine controls have been centralized with the master electrical, fuel pump, charging circuit, and starter on one panel. Battery voltage and water temperature gauges monitor the operation of the engine. Starting and power generation are accomplished by an Hitachi starter generator. All this leads to a surprisingly complex loom for a single cylinder engine. While designing, fabricating, and building an engine from scratch is always a rewarding exercise, this project has been doubly so. It has captured the attention of people who have no otherwise interest in engines, simply because it's largely built from a material that most people consider trash. And in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't smell like stale beer.